um, was a monthly where Fatality was present. Um, the record between these two, 3 and 0. Oh. Wadi has definitely been uh, running rampant a bit against CD, but I think he's been running rampant against everyone. Yeah, everyone <laughs> so, in the region. No one can stop this man. To, I'm a bad man. Mm -hmm. Going to start calling him Muhammad Ali. I mean, he is the greatest in the scope of this area. But And he plays actually very similar. A little yeah. evasive, very quick, good movement, and then very explosive when they connect. Huh. Muhammad Wadi. Ooh, okay. I like it. Okay, let's do it. There we go. Grand finals of the Xanadu Championship Series. It's been a long road, but familiar faces every step of the way. Wadi and ZD. Wadi is on winner's side. ZD is on loser's. And now one thing ZD did start catching on a bit to last time they played was the edge guards. He was starting to connect a couple of those up tilts, and he was getting around the side Bs a bit. Um, so we're going to see if maybe that helps him out. At the same time, though, one of the things that Wadi really did to a T was just his nair pressure, his movement, and just his conversions are impeccable. Mm -hmm. And, like, he's always an expert at switching around bad situations, as we saw right there. He was hit by a jab, a rapid jab, just forward aired out of it by behind up. Knowing the timing and knowing how, like, his character works is a hallmark of how great SWAT he is. Right now, pretty much an even game, but just as soon as I say that, Wadi sneaks in that opening side B. Oh, you're on the platform. Your stock is gone. Very unfortunate, but beautiful awareness by Wadi. Yeah, you better tech that. And that might be one of the reasons why he likes picking the stage so much. Like, not only just for the bigger blast down so his light character can live longer, but if you get confused on the ledge or, like, around that kind of scenario, you'll just get mixed up on top of that and it'll just compound, because now ZD has to approach, and Wadi loves it when people approach him. He loves it when he can just stand there and there. He loves it when he can rapid jab you off stage, charge a shadow ball, and then forward air you to oblivion. He loves all of this. This is what he lives for. And he's still not done. Turn around, grab. I know where you will be. Here's a shadow ball for your trouble. No, dash attack's not going to connect. But a forward smash from ZD, very surprising. It came out, but it did work, and ZD's showing he still had some life. But just as soon as he shows he has some, Wadi just takes it away. One forward air, a shadow ball later. Wadi is up 1 0 with CD. And the amount of explosiveness that we've seen between these two so far has been very real. ZD just hasn't had enough space to blow up on him, though. It's just been Wadi when he gets hit once. Or when he gets hit once, he'll flip the situation around, and then the entire flow of the set is just in Wadi's favor. CD gonna have to dig deep. Definitely can do it. There are a couple chants in the crowd. One saying, let's go, Zach. Let's go, Wadi. Zach is ZD's name, if uh, you were wondering who they were actually cheering for. Mm -hmm. This is a big opportunity for ZD. Wadi's just so high up in the air, and now he has to fight back from his back foot. 53 to 35, Wadi getting that down to into that forward air. Now he's going to try to come back on stage. So Drags difficult. Yeah, the drag down keeps it. That's the second time he's dragging down. But luckily for ZD, he wasn't able to um, net a kill from it directly, at least. Yeah, that was one of the big things that like or swung the first set around on set. The drag down there into like down air, and that spike and killed him so early. It's hard to come back from that. So you just got to make sure that that does not happen. ZD doing a much better job of that this set. Liking the cross-ups. Up and down air into Nair. And now it's my turn. I'm the one that swung first. And ZD taking stock number one over Wadi. Yeah, in the battle of multi-hit aerials, ZD surprisingly comes out on top through the behemoth that is neutral air. That move is so hard to play around. And ZD kind of teasing, kind of hinting at, hey, maybe I'll fair footstool you. Maybe. It's possible. You have to respect it. Makes it back down the ledge. Or back down to the ground, rather. Charging that shadow ball up. Finally gets another dash attack, though. Z not getting anything else off of it, except positioning. But surprisingly, he's making the most of it this time around. Wadi he definitely is. He's trying to two-stock him, which would be quite the statement to do against Wadi. Especially after being, you know, he sent you to losers. Mm -hmm. 66 to 107 right now, but a little overzealous, that but he mash. managed to get out. And he couldn't get another grab afterwards, too, because the timer hadn't really expired. But still, getting the four air out of shields. Foxes do love to jump, so that four air covers so many different options on that. Good time off to grab. 
Yo, why'd he start in his shield a bit more? And wow, that was raw and that was strong. And ZD is going to tie it up right now 1 1 in our grand finals. I didn't even see that option coming. I knew he was going to up smash eventually, but he just ran straight through and do that, did that. And I think Wadi was trying to DI into him. So he went straight up into that, and you can't afford to have bad DI on that move playing Mewtwo. Definitely cannot. And uh, Wadi had to learn that the hard way. But it is going to be his counter pick. Going to opt to go to town and city where, you know, if you DI that up smash the same way, you lose your stock again. But like 20% earlier, too. And he's going for it. Yeah. I mean, he learned his lesson. He's like, all right, everyone gets hit with that once. Just let me play to my own game now, where I can up throw you and you'll die at like 90 to 100. Yeah, we, we actually didn't see any kill. Um, yeah, he didn't actually kill him with any grabs there. Yeah. That game. Maybe the blast zone's a little bit smaller, but I think ZD's doing a good job spacing around that. It looks like a different pace almost has, has started now between these two. Wadi showing a little bit more respect. And this is kind of the pace that I'm more used to seeing from these two players, where it's like it's slow and steady until someone gets hit. Someone did just get hit, and all of a sudden Wadi is making these conversions work. ZD getting his feet on the ground, but just as soon as he gets on a platform, he gets dash attack right back off stage. The down tilt not going to connect, but this might be it, ladies and gentlemen. But the down air misses. Actually, um, Wadi has been missing a lot of those, surprisingly, this um, today. It's mostly due to the fact that ZD's angles have been amazing. And that DI on that has been great, too. Nice by ZD just to back air him away and just make sure that he's still safe as he tries to make this recovery happen. Wadi a little bit slow to pull the trigger on that down or that side B punish, but still getting a little bit of something off of it. But ZD has a lot of rage on him in Town and City. Yes, Town City will be the reason that throw killed so early. Excellent counter pick by Wadi and excellent recognition by him, too. Gonna start with the Nair. You can't dash attack him for free. Oh, that jab almost hit the right way. That would have been so scary. Very forward for ZD that it did not connect, but Wadi is not slowing down by any means. No, absolutely not. Up tilt, gets the read, and Wadi finally hits the tech. Tech's away from that forward smash. Definitely will seal out that stock, but now Wadi. Uh, ZD has to be afraid of that forward air because he's been checked down on the ledge. Cross him up, tries to hit him with the shadow ball, but ZD answering back. No shenanigans here. Let's keep this game honest. That stock will be uh, taken as a bit of tax. And uh, he tried to keep it honest and then immediately said, hey, I'm going to run over with an up smash. <laughs> Did not work out for him. Only took little damage and ZD trying to end it. And instead, I was going to say he got ended, but he does make it back yet again. Wadi not able to really finish the stock whenever ZD does go for a Firefox. Mm -hmm. And I think I actually spoke to ZD about this once and saying, hey, you know, your illusion keeps getting punished, but your Firefox never is. Yes, they should be able to spike it, but make them do it first. Exactly. Make sure they have that capacity to. There's a big opportunity for ZD. But he but can't get grabbed, and he got grabbed, and the back throw comes in. And ZD was playing so well, but that was, I think, the one winning condition from that position that could have ended his stop. Yeah, that was the one thing you could not afford to do. And ZD... I understand why he did that uh, up tilt. Like, if Wadi hadn't shielded right there, then it probably would have set up for a lot and, like, maybe even a kill. He was around that percent where it could have happened. But overextending just by a fraction is not something that you can do against Wadi. So here we go. Potentially tournament point. Wadi of winner's side, so he just needs to win this one game. ZD needs to win two more and then another set if he wants to make this happen. And I think he does want this, but that DI says otherwise. Yeah, that DI was very suspect. Or maybe he's a genius. He wanted to go to just that perfect spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. ZD fighting off the ledge. He's willing to re-grab it to get that one extra back air. Dang. That's so wild. But I guess that's a killer be killed mentality you need to have when you're fighting someone of the caliber of Wadi right now. Another down tilt. Wadi trying to find something big, but ZD spacing appropriately gets a bit of a punish, but not too much more. And still not getting that down air. ZD has to be counting his blessings. Definitely because he's still getting a chance to play this game. 53 to 79. He is on the board, but he does, I'm sure he does not want a repeat. He does not want another 3 1 loss to Wadi. Takes it back again. 101, though. Mewtwo very light if he can manage to get a couple straight hits, but he couldn't do it. Wadi going to take that first stock with the forward air. All right. And still going deep. Tries to find something else going, but only eats a shadow ball for his pleasure. Oh, Wadi's on the platform. He has to make it back to the stage. 
ZD, he needs to stop the bleeding now, and he does just that. He had to make that commitment happen, because otherwise, Wadi could have gotten one or two combos, and that would have been very difficult for him to come back from. But now we have a lead. ZD flipping it around. What can he make out of this? Big time damage coming in right now for ZD. He is definitely still in it to play it. Wadi going for the patent move. Nice a tech. beautiful tech right there. He makes it back. He's still alive, still playing in Wadi. Still going for that Nair, trying to end it all, but ZD is still alive and ready to play. Mm -hmm. Wadi, though, waking up a little bit more. Has to go for something? No. Wadi just keeps his feet planted, but ZD has to unearth him a little bit, gets the back air. Wadi's maneuvering around off stage, but the reactions are there. He's still alive. ZD going up there, too, but Wadi's using the time off stage to charge the Shadow Ball just a little bit more. ZD sticking with him, but he misreads the drift. Almost gets grabbed for his trouble. The Shadow Ball's being charged in his face. The air to air and air, and the reaction. ZD takes it to game five. Wow, very... It's, it, it felt slow and meticulous, but there were so many actions going on between these two players at any given moment. And th th I still cannot believe ZD got that tech underneath the stage and still recovered. Yeah, that was... It was like a, seeing a snowball roll downhill. Like it wasn't, there wasn't much happening at first, but then as time went on, and like the repercussions and the punishes got bigger and bigger and bigger. Now these guys are trying to leave it all on the table. Wadi, avoiding a bracket reset would be huge for him. He could take it all home today, but if ZD keeps his momentum going, we could see a whole different set, and we could also see a different champion crown today. Maybe a potential upset. Right now, Wadi is trying to say no upsets are coming my way. Has ZD back off stage. ZD struggling to get back on. Man's to do it. Neo stage control is so important. We out here. And he is there and we he out does here. it. 43% when he takes Wadi's first stock. Beautiful fair footstool. And the confidence of ZD. You can lose your stock being off stage against Mewtwo, let alone Wadi. ZD does not care, no fear. And it keeps on going. Look at all that percent he racked up off of that scenario. He could have gone for another fair footstool right there, actually. But Wadi, we've seen him do this so many times. ZD tries to find a little bit of something, but I like that. Just jumping, using the Nair to kind of high profile over a potential down tilt. And now Wadi's stuck on the platform. Makes his way back down, using the Nair to just get the shield going. Wadi finally finding a grab, charging the Shadow Ball a little bit. But ZD's just hit to so many things. His air dodge timing has been on point this entire game. Now, even though Wadi's down, let's not forget, he has made comebacks like this time and time again. He will... One, he can edge guard with his forward airs. He can do nair to spike. He has so many options, and he can just out neutral you. So by no means is he out of this. And now it is scary again. ZD having such a huge lead, but he has to still do one more stock. And Wadi is only at 83%. Now he's only at 93. He's definitely no stranger to this scenario. Is no that tech. it? That's it. We got a bracket reset. ZD turning on the afterburn afterburners to the 15th degree. I was starting to count him out, but ZD reminding me why he is ranked number three out here in MDV at the moment. Why he's ranked seated number one in this tournament. Yeah. He's, kids still got it. Kids still got it. Great job all around. We have a reset. Both of these players are in losers now. And why are you going to have to think deep, think hard? But don't forget that he does have Rob on the table, and he has defeated ZD with Rob on countless occasions. So there is a lot of things running through ZD's mind and a lot of things running through Wadi's mind because of that. Yeah, their minds have to be moving a mile a minute, and it might not be fast enough because we still have so much more track to run here at Xanadu Championship Series Finale. Bracket reset. Both these guys are in losers right now. Off from the battlefield, and Wadi has generally been counterpicking battlefields, so I'm surprised ZD allowed him to go back to this stage, but I guess he just doesn't care. He's like, if I'm playing good, it won't make a difference. Mm -hmm. And plus, it was a different process. It's a, it's a reset, so like they probably went back to say spike, and that should be, oh, not getting the spike, but still getting something else off of that. So Wadi still has all the momentum on his favor right now, but that back hit neutral air could give ZD a way back into it, but Wadi would like to say otherwise. Is he going to get it this time? No, still not. But it's okay because we have reads and we have advantage. I'm just going to wait for that roll so I can casually forward air. Uh, the pressure's really on ZD right now. He reset the bracket, but what does he have left in the tank? Wadi obviously still has a lot left. And I think ZD might have a little bit of fire to him, but not enough to get that kill to confirm. Uchi's air dodge is frame two, so if there's any point where it's not true, you can bet he's mashing that to get out. For sure. You know, that unfortunately, that was a bit more of a candle. 
He, he needed a blowtorch. Yeah. He went for a charge forward smash right there. Why do you was like, hey, man, I'm going to just hit you once for it, but don't do it again. Mm -hmm. Did you know what you're dealing with? Come on. You can't do that. You Woo! can do that, though. You can do that, though. How did he know? How I did he know? I don't know. That was such a hard read right there. He ran. He kind of stutter stepped a bit and said, now is the time to pull the trigger and got it done. And timing that get up perfectly so the grab wasn't quite there. ZD overcommitting a little bit, though. Gets tagged by a forward air. And another forward air is definitely in the works. Yes. As he gets sent off stage, Wadi mounting his offensive. And another forward air. You know, that's really been his answer. And yet again, Wadi's saying, hey, man, I only need one flick of the wrist to defeat you. And it is to the right with my C-stick in the air. Mm -hmm. And if one flick won't do it, maybe another three or four. The damage will be there. The flicks of the wrist are the win condition. And right now, ironically enough, Wadi actually saying, maybe I don't want to be this character. And he switches to Rob. He wins game number one, switches to Rob, and we're going to see what ZD can do. ZD taking a deep breath, knowing how tilting this character can be, and that may have been the tell. He said, I'm going to go to town and city, and he said, cool, I'm going to go Rob. Be prepared for a couple throws into up airs. Yeah. And this will change the pace in the set just a little bit, because Wadi does play his Rob and YouTube very similarly, but the thing is, Rob will kill you off a grab, whereas Mewtwo will kill you with a grab. Does it a lot later. Mm -hmm. All right, getting something going. But, you know, at the same time, even though ZD hates fighting this character, he has defeated it plenty of times as well. So that is one thing to, to keep in mind, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, down throw. Forward air, I think. Yeah, he just wants that control to charge up his gyro and just shoot some lasers, get some more damage for free. Oh, he'll miss the ledge right here. Has to make it back. And yeah, maybe that's another reason why he picked Rob. That down air lasts so much longer and it spikes for so much longer. ZD definitely not being counted out by any means. Still keeping it completely competitive, very close. Has Rob at 85%. Obviously, Rob a bit heavy, not really going to lose the stock quite yet. Maybe another 10% might be able to. Yeah, but now he has all that rage, too. And ZD not finishing his play could be huge for him because a grab could kill him as early as 60 or 70%. Woo! Excuse I don't know me? how he knew. I think he just wanted to shine the style. Mm -hmm. A little bit of jazz for his trouble. But Wadi is still staying alive, holding that shield. Nice catch on that gyro. And you said 50, 60%. If he gets grabbed right now, is this going to be it, ladies and gentlemen? Yes. Oh, He's still alive. Barely. Nice CI uh, right there by Wadi, or by ZD. But that time he gives up the air dodge, and you can't afford to do that. ZD falling 2-0 right now, and this is the last set of the tournament. Best of five. Wadi just needs one more game. Just one more game. Now, ZD did do a bracket reset already, so he has what it takes to do it. But does he have the mental composure? Does he believe he can do it? Or is he looking at the character select screen like, you know what, he's robbed. Three, What's done is done. Mm -hmm. one, Back on Town and City is where they're going to go. Wadi obviously having a commanding victory. But CD, if he, you know, digs deep, plays his game, definitely can bring it back, definitely can at least put himself on the board. He hasn't been 3 0. There hasn't been a 3 0 yet between these two players today. And. I'm sure ZD and all his fans are hoping it continues to be that way. Yeah, but it'll have to, like you said, really fight for it. That spot dodge was so surprisingly timed. I didn't know that you could spot dodge through that for free like that. I was completely unaware, too. Mm -hmm. I thought that was one of those things where I spot dodge the down smash, I got hit. Yeah. Oh, the grab. This could be big. The DI, he's going straight up, but still not high enough to die just yet. But why do you know he's looking for another grab or an up smash? He'll just run it straight back. And that one, the DI was not there. ZD a little bit flustered, but he still has a bit more room to play. He does, but this is how uh, essentially a two-stock started last time. Why are you re-grabbing that ledge about three, four times? <laughs> ZD said, okay, it's fine. I will not stop you. Nicely done. Up tilt in the back air. He reacted to that immediately. Throws the gyro up, which was smart. Wastes a little bit more time so that um, Wadi's not able to charge another one. Mm. It's the little things that you really need to do at a high level of play. 
Yeah, and the big things too, just like that combo. 35 immediately. ZD starting to answer back a bit more, but here comes Wadi. Look at that. Just checking him down, building up that wall, reversing it too. Using the gyro just kind of bait ZD to come a little bit closer. It seems like his Rob is getting more and more tricks, and talk about a good catch. He is out there, missed that Nair ZD, a beautifully um, thrown item right there, actually. He would have lost the stock otherwise. Mm -hmm. Man, you can make it back on the stage. Wadi, though, that gyro is huge for him. Almost gets him with the up smash afterwards. ZD getting a second lease on life. I think he can also kill him with one of the platforms if he grabs him while there's one there. Mm -hmm. Just going for the raw up smash that might come to bite him in the butt. ZD right now. Looking great. He's looking alive. Oh, nice spot dodge. You know that Wadi wants that grab. Almost gets a sniper, too. Burning so many resources. Just trying to keep up with ZD. And ZD read that jump, but not getting the timing right. Wadi able to air dodge through with the back air. Still hits him the back of the head for his trouble. Now, this is rough for Wadi. The gyro is there, though. And yeah, Wadi needs to be very careful. Oh my god! He still makes it back. Does he still have the fuel? He does. Everyone makes it back, but the, I saw the black smoke. Wadi can't afford to be upstage for a little bit longer. These guys are air dodging for their life. And ZD gets the back air. He's still staying alive. Wadi so tense. makes it back off the ledge, has the time to set the stage, almost gets a pivot it? grab, he and the out. trade almost sets up for it. But so many different single hit scenarios. ZD not able to make it happen. And Wadi will win the series 3 0 off of an absolutely insane final game. Wow. Granted, it was a 3 0. It was a very hype, a very fun 3 0, nonetheless. The numbers don't tell the full story. You see the bracket, you see 3-0, but that was two players fighting their hardest.